What's up everybody, my name is Matthew and this is my digital story about tomatoes and tomato sauce. To start things off, we're going to talk about the origins of tomatoes. The fruit originated in the wild forms in Peru, Ecuador, and Bolivia near the Andes. The earliest moments of humans using tomatoes that we have documented is Aztecs grew them in 700 AD. But it wasn't until the 1600s when Europe was first introduced to the fruit and it wasn't until the late 1700s when the fruit was introduced to the United States. The first famous person to grow the fruit was Thomas Jefferson in 1781. Shortly after that, Santo Domenico, a French French refugee, brought them to Philadelphia and he grew them in 1789. And an Italian painter grew them in Salem, Massachusetts in 1802. It wasn't until the 1830s and 40s until tomatoes were grown in the northeast part of the country regularly. Things have changed quite dramatically in the past 200 years. In 2017, 1.42 million tons of fresh market tomatoes and 14.7 million tons of processing tomatoes were harvested from approximately 311,500 acres with a total value of approximately $1.67 billion with Florida being the largest producer, barely surpassing California. From monocultures to greenhouses to your backyard, tomatoes can be grown almost anywhere. And they're definitely grown in my backyard because I come from a Italian family with immigrant grandparents who have been growing tomatoes since they were little kids. Now let's talk about the homemade sauce that my family makes every year. My family has a tradition of making our homemade sauce in August every single year. And it usually takes about two days to do, give or take, depending on how many people help out. So we start by getting our tomatoes from this place in Chelsea, Massachusetts, where they get the tomatoes from a farm and then they sell them in bulk to us. We usually get about 30 to 35 bushel crates full of tomatoes, but this year due to COVID, we got a lot less. I think we only got 20 bushels, but nevertheless, we still kept the tradition and we made the tomatoes. When we get the tomatoes from Chelsea, we bring them home and we first hand wash all of them. And then we cut them in half and then we get ready to boil them. Once they're boiled, they come off the burners and they get put through the sauce machine to make the actual sauce. After that, they, they each get jarred and then they go back into the burners again to be boiled and sealed shut for preservation. The tomatoes will last, the sauce will last you about a year to two years depending on how well they're stored and how sealed the mason jars are. And that's how my family makes the sauce that we've been eating for the past 20 years. Now let's get into how I make my sauce. I make an extremely simple sauce because I have the palate of a 12 year old. <laughs> and first off, I start by putting olive oil in the pan. After that, I put in two garlic cloves, for flavor and I let that saute. Once that sautés for a few minutes, I then take it off the burner and then I put in my sauce. And then after I put my sauce into the pot, I put the pot back onto the burner and then put in two tablespoons of tomato paste. Once I put in the two tablespoons of tomato paste, I put in a pinch of salt. There's no measurements. We've been making the sauce for so long. We just put in whatever we feel like is right. Put in some salt and then after that we put in some red hots. And then that's pretty much it. Then you can let your sauce sit for two hours and cook slowly until perfection. And that's how my family makes our sauce. Other traditions in my family that surround the sauce, other than us making it, is eating it. Every Sunday, as much of the family as possible gathers together for a huge Sunday dinner. It's really fun during football season because after we eat, we all just hang out and watch football together. But before every meal, we say grace, and it's a different person that says grace every time. Usually, someone at the someone at the table just calls out a random name and says, you're saying grace, and they get put on the spot, and they have to say grace. Those Sundays have been a tradition for years in my family, dating back to when my grandparents first moved here from Italy 60-plus years ago. And ever since then, they've been eating dinner as a family on Sundays and those are memories that I'll never forget and I can't wait to build new ones. Due to COVID I don't have any pictures of my entire family eating dinner together because we've been trying to be safe but my brother sister and I still eat dinner together every Sunday really just any time we make a sauce because it's just a lot better eating it as a family. This time we made pasta next time will be meatballs and Who knows what's going to be next, but 
regardless, it's going to taste good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and listening. That's my digital story.